Hello, I'm Stuart. Before we start, we want to share that this video uses AI for graphics and voice, but all the information is manually researched by our team. Here in the video, we will share the details for the Monster Hunter Wilds error code R1141-W72T10001. The error reads, unable to connect to server. As per our research, this error appears when players try to connect to the server but fail. Most of the affected users are on PC, and the issue seems to be related to system settings or connectivity blocks. According to our research, this error may happen because of antivirus interference, network issues, or system misconfigurations. First, we suggest you shut down your device and router completely. Simply disconnect them from the power source, then wait for around five minutes. Then restart both. After that, check if the error still comes. If the error still appears, try disabling your antivirus temporarily and then launch the game. If you still get the error, then run both Steam and Monster Hunter Wilds as administrator. Simply right-click on the icons and select Run as administrator, then check if the issue is resolved. If you still have the error, then check if there are any pending updates for your system drivers, firmware, or the game itself. If there are, install them and try again. In case you still get the error, then try using a VPN. One user fixed the issue by switching to a VPN and changing the server location. So, if you have access to a VPN, then try this and see if this helps. If the error persists, another workaround is to delete the host's file on your system. You can move it to a different location on your PC so you can restore it if needed. Then try launching the game again. In case you need help with this, then you can find many guides online. Also, while applying these changes, be cautious, as they can also do some harm if not done carefully. If you still get the error, then verify the integrity of the game files. If you are using Steam, Go to your game library, then right-click on the game, then choose Properties, then Local Files, and select Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once done, check if the error still comes. Lastly, if the error still comes and you're playing on PlayStation, make sure the PSN services are not down. If they are, you will have to wait till the PSN services are back online. Thanks for watching. This is all we have for the error. If this video helped, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have any questions or issues, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next one.